just imagine that it, it was a technological object that selected this uh, orbit to be aligned with the planets around the sun for a reason. In the silent, sun-faded void beyond Mars, an anomaly began to glow. The James Webb Space Telescope, designed to peer into the dawn of time, captured a flicker of light where none should be. It was a faint but steady pulse, rhythmically brightening and dimming in the darkness as if executing a deliberate plan. Astronomers initially classified it as a comet, but its light was fundamentally wrong. It didn't scatter or fade, it remained sharp and focused, a resolute signal awaiting acknowledgement. In the cold emptiness of space, such precision is unnatural. The laws of physics governing reflection dictated this should be impossible. Yet there it was, an object radiating its own energy. For the scientists observing, the moment felt less like a discovery and more like a mutual recognition, as if an entity out in the cosmos had finally turned its gaze back toward us. The object was soon identified as 3I slash Atlas, the third interstellar traveler ever documented, following Oumuamua in 2017 and Borisov in 2019. It had entered our solar system from the direction of Hercules, moving at an incredible 134,000 miles per hour, a speed far too great to be captured by the sun's gravity. While it was first assumed to be another piece of cosmic debris, the initial data from the Webb telescope painted a far different picture. The light from 3I Atlas was not reflected, it was generated from within. It pulsed with the slow, even cadence of a heartbeat, a controlled and methodical glow. There was no dust tail, no trace of vaporizing ice, only a self-contained energy source, shining in the dark. The scientists said little, but their silence was profound. They understood that if the light had a rhythm, it implied structure, and structure could imply purpose. The chilling question arose, what if 3i Atlas wasn't drifting by chance, but was being guided by a force beyond our comprehension. When the James Webb Space Telescope focused on 3i Atlas, the first wave of data left scientists utterly speechless. The object's light didn't behave like sunlight bouncing off ice or dust. It emanated from within, releasing a steady heat as if powered by something alive. Webb's infrared sensors pinpointed a repeating signal, a subtle rise and fall in brightness that cycled with perfect regularity every few minutes. At first, this was attributed to a simple rotation, but comparisons over several days showed the rhythm never changed. The light was unwavering, the temperature constant, a self-correcting pattern that nature almost never produces in the frozen depths of space. A NASA researcher privately noted, it's not reflecting light, it's emitting it. The core looks like a power source. This assessment quietly rippled through the astrophysics community. If correct, 3i Atlas was not a comet or asteroid, it was a constructed, functioning object. The web team mapped the heat, finding it pulsed from the center outward in a perfect, machine-like rhythm, unlike the random heat decay of natural objects. Models of its light curve showed a symmetry too precise to be accidental, with each pulse mirroring the last. As skeptics search for alternative explanations, natural isotope decay, sensor glitches, Hubble and two ground-based telescopes confirmed the same data, causing every natural theory to collapse. The light was real, and it was under control. Most unsettling was its timing. Each pulse repeated every 173 seconds, an unvarying interval that suggested the object was regulating its own energy like an engine or a transmitter. The language in official reports began to shift. Anomaly became structured emission. Some analysts even proposed the pattern wasn't energy, but data. A binary signal encoded in heat. If so, the object wasn't just active, it was communicating. Intense private meetings between NASA, ESA, and JAXA. No one could agree on what it was, but one fact was undeniable. The pulses were deliberate. As 3i Atlas moved deeper into our solar system, the signal grew stronger, leading some to whisper that it was responding to being observed. The scientific conversation became tinged with fear. When the James Webb Space Telescope zoomed in, astronomers were stunned. 
Instead of the expected frozen gases and dust, they saw parts of the object reflecting light with the near-perfect precision of polished metal, too uniform, smooth, and bright to be natural. The readings indicated a metallic surface, which implied 3i Atlas was not a product of cosmic chance, but was manufactured. Another anomaly soon appeared. Its rotation was perfectly stable, spinning smoothly on a fixed axis like a machine on a schedule, a stark contrast to the wobble of natural bodies. Researchers likened its motion to a spacecraft in cruise mode, steady, deliberate, and controlled. It was either the most precise natural object ever recorded or evidence of technology far beyond our own. Furthermore, when sunlight hit it, there was no vapor, no dust, no tail. It remained intact and cold, as if shielded by an armor that defied solar radiation. Simulations suggested a surface made of unknown alloys with nearly 98% reflectivity, similar but far more advanced than materials on human-made satellites. These findings were shared quietly among global space agencies, withheld from the public to avoid acknowledging that something intelligent had built it. Then, its orbit changed. The shift was initially tiny, but became a measurable deviation from its predicted path. It appeared to be using planetary gravity to adjust its course in a controlled, non-random movement. Models based on natural physics couldn't explain the trajectory. The only conclusion left was unthinkable. 3i Atlas was maneuvering. Its new path pointed closer to Earth's orbital plane, a lane change that sparked quiet panic among scientists. For the first time, the word intent appeared in research notes. Independent observatories soon detected faint, structured bursts of electromagnetic energy around the object, frequencies that matched no known astronomical phenomenon. This pushed the boundaries of belief. The metallic surface, flawless rotation, and shifting orbit all pointed to one truth. 3i Atlas was not just traveling, it was operating. An ESA researcher summarized it bluntly. We are not observing a comet, we are watching a craft. The mission had transformed from astronomical observation into a silent encounter, unfolding in real time. Scientists analyzing the light from 3i Atlas discovered that it wasn't random reflected sunlight. Instead, the wavelengths were narrow and repeated within a precise range, as if the object was emitting a controlled transmission. After confirming the structured, pulsing signal with Hubble and other observatories, they were shocked to find the frequencies matched the same range used by Earth's communication systems, like laser arrays and guidance beacons. Digital analysis by researchers at MIT and Harvard revealed patterns eerily similar to binary code, repeating clusters separated by equal gaps, a clear sign of information, not noise. NASA's communication network was alerted, and for weeks, analysts tried to decode what some believed was telemetry data reporting back to its origin, while others thought it was a beacon. The signal's perfect, unwavering stability suggested a self-regulating technology. The European Space Agency and Japan's JAXA joined NASA in a constant watch, ruling out all sources of interference. The mystery deepened when they found the signal's brightness shifted slightly near sunlight, as if it was intelligently adapting to its environment. Quiet debates began within NASA. Should humanity respond? Before a decision could be made, analysts noticed something chilling. The transmission wasn't aimed at Earth. It was pointed outward, into deep space, meant for someone else. We were only intercepting it. This changed everything. If 3i Atlas was transmitting, there had to be a receiver. For weeks, telescopes scanned that frequency band across the sky. Then, 72 hours after a specific transmission, a faint return pulse was detected by an observatory in Chile. It was weak and distorted, but perfectly timed to the original signal. This wasn't an echo. It was a response, different enough to prove something had understood the message. Humanity had just overheard a conversation in the dark, and it wasn't ours. After months of quiet, predictable pulsing, 3i Atlas suddenly changed.
the James Webb Telescope detected a flare, a surge that brightened the object by 40% in under two minutes. This was not a reflection, it was an ignition. It released no gas, debris, or dust, unlike any comet. The light erupted from within, and a brief temperature rise confirmed the energy was controlled, not random. It was as if a machine, dormant for ages, was waking up. Three days later, its orbit shifted again, this time angling toward the plane of Earth's path. The movement was small, but deliberate, with no gravitational cause or visible thrust. NASA and the ESA confirmed the numbers didn't lie. The shift was self-directed. Speculation ran wild. Magnetic steering, solar energy conversion, even gravity manipulation. But the conclusion was the same. 3i Atlas was navigating. This terrified many scientists. If it could move and make decisions, it might have a purpose. Soon after, observatories worldwide began experiencing strange equipment failures. Screens flickered and data froze, but only when telescopes were aimed at 3i Atlas. The disruptions were brief, but always synchronized. Technicians ruled out all conventional causes. The pattern pointed to the object itself disrupting our instruments. In response, public access to data was restricted under the guise of instrument recalibration, while insiders claimed real-time feeds were locked behind new encryption. Independent astronomers, using smaller telescopes, confirmed the object's brightness remained constant post-flare, but they too reported electromagnetic interference that grew stronger as it neared the sun. A new picture emerged. 3i Atlas was no longer a passive relic. It was an operating system, maintaining itself, adjusting its course, and actively hiding from observation. The scientific community, once fascinated, now spoke in whispers. If 3i Atlas was active, this was no longer a physics mystery, it was contact. The question haunting everyone was simple. What had triggered its awakening? The light from our sun or the gaze of our telescopes? After weeks of official silence, a team at the SETI Institute took a risk. They aimed a narrow radio pulse directly at 3i Atlas, a simple greeting containing mathematical constants and diagrams of the human form. For three days, there was nothing. Then, exactly 72 hours later, a return pulse came back on the same frequency. It was faint and distorted, but perfectly timed. This was not an echo, which would have been instantaneous. The delay matched the light speed travel time between Earth and the object. It was a calculated reply. The SETI control room fell into stunned silence as independent radio telescopes verified the signal. Something had answered. Within 48 hours of the return ping, the technical failures began anew. Instruments locked up, maps misaligned, and data feeds froze, but only when targeting 3i Atlas. The disruptions were too coordinated to be a coincidence. A leaked memo from the European Space Agency described selective data interference from an unknown external source, concluding with a terrifying assessment, the object was jamming us. It was now deciding when we were allowed to look. Government agencies reacted swiftly, shutting down public data streams from the Webb telescope and other major instruments, citing maintenance and data freezes. Real-time tracking was cut off entirely. The SETI team tried once more with a shorter pulse. No response came back. Instead, all radio receivers near the facility recorded bursts of interference, as if the air itself was vibrating. After that, the object went silent. The sudden quiet was more unsettling than the signal itself. Some believe the experiment had triggered a defensive reaction. Others thought the craft had completed its mission. Still, one question remained. If the signal was never meant for us, who was it talking to? And what happens when that listener replies? In the following months, as NASA and the ESA denied any new findings, Independent astronomers noticed the object's orbit was tracing a perfect spiral through the solar system, its path matching a Fibonacci sequence, as if the object was drawing a silent message in motion, not for us, but for whoever sent it. The light never stopped, it only grew dimmer, like an eye closing, waiting to open again. Perhaps it was never about contact, perhaps it was about observation. In the end, 
the James Webb Telescope didn't just find something in the universe, it found something looking right back. <laughs>